So here we have our program um, in action. Right now, I'm just scrolling, um, you know, through the different um, little widgets I have here. We got YouTube, we got Gmail. Let's go click on my YouTube for a second. So see my index finger go down? That's essentially me just uh, clicking on the tab right there. And we can look at all these wonderful videos, but um, let's go to Gearhim's Battle right here. And so, as you can see, I can also scroll down with, uh, by pointing my index finger down. And I can also scroll up by, you know, pointing my middle finger up. And we can go ahead and pause the video and just let it play. Can, actually, we can even go back to the home page. Um, or we can even leave a like. Well, let, me, let me try and go to the home page here. Now, now, this is kind of jank, actually. I actually won't attempt that, because um, these are in reverse controls, and um, it's it's a little difficult. Um, so it, it just takes a little, little, nah, a little bit of practice. Um, but as you can see, I just like the video there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much a demonstration of how this works. All right, so this is just um, kind of a deep dive into how the inner workings of this works. So essentially, I'm using three um, main libraries. Don't worry about these uh, other ones, but the ones you should focus on are CV2, which is uh, short for OpenCV, uh, PyAuto GUI, and MediaPipe. So OpenCV is essentially the um, image processing tool, uh, computer vision. It's essentially what um, is performing kind of the um, background kind of elements here um, with everything that's going on. MediaPipe is the one actually doing the hand movements uh, as you see, um, you know, in the video. And Pi Autogui is the one doing the mouse movements for it. And so essentially what I have here is um, basically I'm getting the coordinates of my hands from that uh, media pipe uh, open source library from Google. And um, it returns coordinates in terms of um, fractions of what the actual uh, screen real estate is. So I go ahead and multiply that by the actual, um, the actual screen resolution. And then what I do there is I get that coordinate and then send it to Pi Auto GUI in order to go ahead and move the mouse to wherever I need it. So actually, let's go ahead and just run the program real fast. And so um, there's a five second buffer uh, just for me to move around tabs. But essentially, this is what's going on. And so you can kind of see here, um, the way I have this working is if this tip right here, uh, the tip of my finger, if that coordinate with that digit goes underneath uh, the one that second below it, um, it will register as a click or whatever command I program it to. And um, yeah, that's just how it functions. I mean, this is pretty cool, right? right?